In the many small emergencies of daily life, as well as in times of major crisis, the American people rely on their great nationwide system of communication services. In every phase of private, business, or community life, there is the means of summoning help or of securing information from any part of the nation or the world. Typical of many U.S. industrial cities is Syracuse, New York. Because of its strategic factories, Syracuse fills an important role in the nation's overall economy. Syracuse has its entertainment centers as well as a bustling business life. The city takes pride in the excellence of its municipal service departments and in its school system, which is among the best in the nation. Coordinating these varied community activities and uniting the city with other parts of America are its vital lines of communication. At the city airport, air traffic is controlled by a smoothly operating system of ground air radio. At the railroad station, telephone and telegraph messages direct the trains which bring vital supplies to the city and carry away the products of local factories. News dispatches from all parts of the world are rushed immediately to the public by many different communication systems, often while events reported are still in progress. In the home life of the Norton family, communications of all kinds are important. They count on their newspapers to keep them informed of local as well as international events. They look to radio and television, not only for information, but also for entertainment. And for most emergencies, there is the telephone. Hello, Star Taxi. I'm the 223 Dorset Road. I've got to be at the airport at 420. Can you make it? You make it all right, sir. Thank you. Rest jab. Number 49, 223 Dorset Road, an airport jab, Russia. Number 49, 223 Dorset Road, an airport jab, Russia. 23 Dorset Road. You're there now. Okay. Of key importance among communications in many American cities is two-way radio. For many everyday activities, this is the quickest way of coordinating operations. Mr. Norton, like many Americans, has long taken this kind of service for granted. One American who does not take his communications for granted is young Chris Norton. For more than a year now, Chris has been a radio amateur, a ham. One of the more than 80,000 Americans who make a serious hobby of shortwave radio. With his home assembled rig, Chris has spoken to other amateurs in all parts of the world. For construction crews like those of the Kravec Company, two-way radio is much more than a hobby. During the course of a routine day, the foreman makes dozens of calls for additional men and materials and to report on progress. Occasionally, an emergency arises. Hello, Bill. There's been an accident up on the highway alongside where we're working. Two cars, about six people. One needs help badly. Within a few minutes, the Quebec office has notified a city hospital. Calling Mobile 2. Calling Mobile 2. Calling Mobile 2. Dr. Scott speaking. Where are you? We're on our way back. There's been an accident on Highway 11, just beyond South Bay Road. Okay, we'll go right over. Less than five minutes after the foreman's call, the radio-directed ambulance arrives on the scene, and a life is saved. During every important community crisis, two-way radio is called into play by the public safety departments of Syracuse. Fire, Borden and McLennan. 
63. Mets have received 6-3. Here we go, Herb. Prompt and efficient teamwork by the city departments aids in getting the blaze under control. Chief Conley talking. Send me two pumpers and a hook and ladder. The utility rig from the lighting company shut off the gas main. Over the years, two-way radio has become an essential part of community life in America. It has helped to save thousands of lives and millions of dollars in property. It has proved its worth time and time again. At the most unexpected times, cities throughout the world have been exposed to destruction from floods, storms, fires, earthquakes, and other disasters. At these times, the lives of those in the community depend on the efficiency with which rescue teams can work together. Communications Center for All Civil Defense Operations in Syracuse is the headquarters equipped with two-way radio. In any citywide emergency, this radio center would become the coordination point for all essential community activities. And the life of the city would depend upon the uninterrupted functioning of its equipment. We've charted every two-way radio station and mobile unit in the city. We've over 400 of the mobile rigs here. Most cities don't realize how many they have until they count them. Now, this unit over here is a console. Uh, Jack is our head operator. You tell the Colonel about this unit, Jack? Okay. We've got over a dozen different radio systems here, Colonel. Police department, fire department, ambulances, hospitals, five cab companies, construction company, power company, county highway department, and so on. What's that out there? Emergency power? That's right. We figure if the telephone lines are down, the power lines will be too. That's why our mobile units are so important. They'll operate on their car batteries. Now, a lot of the key stations in our network have generators like this one. And the fire and police departments have standby stations to take over in case the main station is hit. If both of them are knocked out, we can take over for them. Oh, the hams have their own emergency hookup too that ties in with us. I'd like to have you meet one of them, Colonel. Chris Norton, Colonel Cavanaugh. Chris goes to the university here. If there's an emergency, the radio amateurs will be on hand to help operate the station and keep check on the equipment. It operates on the amateur frequencies. About, oh, 20 of us have mobile rigs. This set keeps them in contact with headquarters. Thank you, Chris. Well, there's only one thing more I can think of. What if this station goes out or your men can't get to it? We've built this station away from likely targets, but just in case, we're building a mobile station equipped like this one. It'll be kept a long way out of the city, ready to move in in the event this one is damaged. It's all part of our civil defense plan for communications, defense, and depth.